Meanwhile, the loss of life in the Kerala IED blast has also increased. Three people now confirmed dead in the Kerala blast in Ernakulam. An IA team will be investigating the terror angle behind these blasts. There is a suspect, interestingly, while the death toll has taken place and, and country was shocked by the incident that took place at the Jehovah's Witnesses meeting. And you can see people rushing out from that area, elderly included. But there is one suspect who has come forth and has surrendered to and he's taking responsibility for the explosions. The day after, Hamas leader was spewing venom in Kerala, remember? That the country was shocked that a Hamas leader, uh, the group that had inflicted brutalities on innocent people on 7th October in Israel, was asked for a statement, was invited for an event in Kerala. Then a triple blast has taken place at this event in Erra uh, This was a, 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 an event of the Christian community and uh, with the fire that you saw, it has led to the less or loss, loss of life of three people. Shibimol KG is now joining me for the latest on that. Shibimol, so sadly, the death toll has also increased. We see a lot of elderly were also there at this event. Tell us about this suspect, which is very interesting, that there is one man who surrendered. But is the, are the cops taking him on face value or are they investigating further on what exactly could have unfolded? Uh, well, yes, Pooja, right now, three deaths have been confirmed since yesterday also, even when we spoke to Health Minister, she was saying that there's a child who is uh, very serious, she, uh, you know, she has suffered around 95% uh, burns is what uh, Health Minister was also saying yesterday. So three deaths find, uh, confirmed as of now. Uh, and yes, uh, the police right now, they're uh, unofficially at least, they're uh, given a clarification that uh, their investigation is right now focused on this person. They're convinced that this is the person who has committed uh, the uh, crime. In fact, uh, they are collecting more details. They're saying that he has been, go, uh, take, he has been uh, taking a six months, since the last six months, he has been carrying out the preparations. He was not in India. He was living in Dubai for a while. And he returned to India and he has been carrying out these preparations uh, and planning this attack is what uh, the police source are telling us. But yes, uh, you cannot take him to face value just like that because there are a lot of questions that need to be answered. Was he alone and why was he like, uh, uh, you know, why should he uh, carry, he, he was saying in, the, in that Facebook live video that uh, there are few leaders to whom he has spoken about that he's not very happy with the ideologies of the Jehovah Witnesses group. So if that was the case, he could have just targeted uh, some of the main leaders, but why target so many people inside a community, inside a hall, like it was a program that was attended by 2,300 people. Mm. So, and how, being a very normal person, how did he know to make bombs? How did he get, like, yes, how did he get all of this arranged? That's an important question. And was there someone more behind him, another group or some sort of assistance that he was provided? And then he comes forth and takes responsibility. Uh, keep tracking the latest on this. Shibi Molkej, it's a developing story. And uh, we hope that the cops there manage to get to the bottom of this. So there were what appeared to be now multiple blasts that occurred at a convention center in Ernakulam, it is in Kerala, and turned the alarm bells around nationwide. And that's specifically because a day earlier there had been, remember, a meeting that was also organized where the Hamas leaders were called. Now Home Minister Amit Shah dialed Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan and took stock of the situation at the blast site. Home Minister Amit Shah had already directed NIA and NSG to initiate an inquiry into the blast that has now left three people dead and 50 injured. Home Minister Amit Shah has instructed NI and SGT to dispatch the teams also for this in incident. Now, there is one individual by the name of uh, Dominic Martin who is claiming to be an estranged member of Jehovah's Witnesses, the group where, which had organized this uh, at the convention center. He turned up at the police station in Thrissur and he surrendered. He claimed responsibility for the explosions that had taken place. Is there a connect? What exactly happened? Police are looking into it. And the very Martin. He pulled not under Sambo Vasam, Nigel Ladim, or Nigana, and Mr. Sigma. Yakov with a Sashigal, Narthirina, with a convention, Momus Porta Mundaway, good the Maya, Pratia Gadangal, and the Sambo children, Pratimatinica, Arilla, Nirinal, Sambo Chatunda, and the Porapunda. Adinde, poor Nutravata, Nani Tedapoyana. Nanana, a bomb was poured on our day, not a theater. In the Nana, Nani, Pritam Chesa, and the Nicola Bodhi put one Vendiana, Nani video Chesa. 
പതിനാറ് വർഷത്തോളം ഞാൻ ഈ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തിൻ്റെ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്ന വ്യക്തിയാണ് അന്നൊന്നും ഞാൻ ഒട്ടും തന്നെ സീരിയസ് ആയിട്ട് എടുത്തിരുന്നില്ല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഒരു തമാശ രൂപം മാത്രമേ മുന്നോട്ട് പോയിരുന്നു എന്നാൽ ഒരു ആറ് വർഷത്തിന് മുമ്പ് വരെ ഞാൻ ചിന്തിച്ചപ്പോൾ ഇത് വളരെ തെറ്റായ ഒരു പ്രസ്ഥാനമാണെന്നും ഇതിൻ്റെ പഠിപ്പിറ്റുകൾ വളരെ രാജ്യദ്രോഹപരമാണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ കഴിയുകയും ഞാനത് തിരുത്തണം എന്ന് അവരോട് പലവട്ടി ആവശ്യപ്പെടുകയും ചെയ്തു എന്നിരുന്നാൽ ഇവരാരും അത് ചെയ്യാൻ തയ്യാറാകുന്നില്ല രാഷ്ട്രീയ പാർട്ടികളൊന്നും ഇടപെടില്ല കാരണം മതം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഒരു പേടിയാണ് ഞാൻ ഇപ്പോൾ തന്നെ പോലീസ് സ്റ്റേഷനിൽ പോയിട്ട് സ്ഥലം പ്രാവുകയാണ് അന്വേഷിച്ച് വരേണ്ട ആവശ്യമൊന്നുമില്ല Now, meanwhile, politics has erupted uh, over these blasts in Kerala. Pinarai Vijayan, the chief ministers, uh, parties and BJP, left Congress are all lashing at each other. What happened? <laughs> Kerala chief minister Pinarai Vijayan said an investigation is underway and further details will be available upon completion of the probe. But he condemned the statement by Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar saying Kerala will not stand with the statements that have been made by the BJP. Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar had slammed the Congress and the left saying they indulged in appeasement politics. Kerala Congress Chief K. Sudhakaran lashed out at Chief Minister Vijayan and said, Chief Minister Vijayan didn't give importance to security of the state, of the people. He cannot now escape from the moral responsibility. AICC Chief Malikarjan Khadge condemned the blast and said, there should be zero space for hate, divisiveness and terror in the state. it is extremely uh, uh, terrible uh, and a very depressing uh, incident that uh, in a state like kerala in india we will have this type of terror attack and terror incident but i hold the government of kerala squarely responsible for this athra varu gauravamaya sambhavathile nerthe thanne oru pratheka nilavaad eduthu pratheyagamayi chelare rakshyam vechukondulla പ്രചരണ രീതികളാണ് ഈ ഒരു വിഭാഗം സ്വീകരിച്ച് കാണുന്നത് അതവരുടെ വർഗീയ നിലപാടിൻ്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ടുള്ളതാണ് ആ വർഗീയ നിലപാടിനോടൊപ്പമല്ല കേരളം നിൽക്കുന്നത് കേരളം എല്ലാ വർഗീയതക്കും എതിരായ നിലപാടാണ് എല്ലാ കാലത്തും സ്വീകരിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് they are ready to even support the terrorism this is this is what it proves and whatever necessary action needs to be taken government of india will definitely look into it we just had a look from the outside it's all burned and with a lot of smoke and lot of bad smell we were, and the place is sealed so right now it's too early to comment on anything like they are getting all the nia fingerprint bureau bomb squad everything is uh, acting and they have reached on the spot forensic experts are there so it's happening Meanwhile a high alert has been sounded in other states as well since that blast in Kerala following the serial blast at a Christian religious convention in Kerala on Sunday high alert was sounded in other states as well including Delhi Mumbai and parts of Uttar Pradesh there is a special vigil that is being maintained at several crowded places in the national capital Mumbai and Pune police officials have specifically been instructed to remain alert in the wake of serial blasts in Kerala neighboring states Karnataka Tamil Nadu have also heightened the alert level among the agencies and the state police Now additional security has been deployed meanwhile at several churches in Tamil Nadu as well as checks are being conducted in several vehicles too in Uttar Pradesh SDG law and order Prashant Kumar also instructed the districts to remain vigilant hum log hamesha hi alert par rehte hain koi alag se alert nahi diya gaya hai lekin hum log dhyan rakhe kyunki Mumbai Pune jaise bade shahar ye Maharashtra mein hai to lagatar humko dhyan rakhna padta hai ki koi galat gatividhiya na ho उस प्रकार से हमारा प्रयास चल मंगलूर बॉर्डर अगले मॉनिटर प्रारंभ में So the investigation is on about what exactly led to the incident and was there much more uh, people and organizations involved we'll be tracking the latest on that